Hello everyone, so today we're gonna look at a cool problem from limits. The question is find the value of lambda for which the given equation is satisfying. Now the given equation is 2 multiplied by limit x is tending towards 0 f of x cube minus x square is equal to lambda times limit x is tending towards 0 f of twice x is to power 4 minus x is to power 5. And in this question, instead of giving out the function, they have given the graph of the function that is f of x and this equation is given. So using this equation and the graph, we have to calculate the value of lambda. So let's start. Now our objective is to calculate the value of lambda using the given equation and the given graph of f of x. Now I can see on both sides limit is given. If limit is given, that means limit will exist. And if limit exists, then that means left hand limit of x is equal to 0 will be equal to right hand limit of x is equal to 0. That means either one of you take either you take left hand limit that is 0 negative or 0 positive you will end up getting the same limit. Similarly to evaluate the value of lambda I have to calculate the value of limit. So I will be individually calculating the value of limit. So it's your wish you can take either x is tending towards 0 positive or x you can take x is tending towards 0 negative you will end up getting the same answer. So let's let me calculate the first limit that is limit x is tending towards 0 f of x cube minus x square. So I'll start with left hand side. So first I'll check as x is tending towards 0 this argument is tending towards so I'll write here x cube minus x square. I want to check if x is tending towards 0 positive this is tending towards 0 negative or 0 positive. So I'll do one thing here is I'll take x square common. So remaining is x minus 1 as you can see. Now x square is a positive number greater than 0 and x minus 1 since x is 0 positive slightly greater than 0 so x minus 1 will be a negative number. That means if this is positive and this is negative, this will tend towards 0 negative. So the limit will be equal to limit x is tending towards 0 f of x cube minus x square. That means I am calculating limit x is tending towards 0 f of this number is tending towards 0 negative. Now let's check from the graph as x is tending towards 0 negative. So as I approach the function from 0 left hand side of 0 that is 0 negative the function is going to attain the value that is equal to 3 so our limit will be equal to 3. Now I'm similarly I'm going to check the value of limit for the right hand side. So here I'll do the same thing as x is tending towards 0 positive that means slightly greater than 0 I'll check the value of this argument that is 2 x to power 4 minus x to power 5. So I want to check this value is tending towards 0 negative or 0 positive. Once I get it, I'll calculate the value of limit. So I'll take here x to power 4 common on both sides. So remaining is 2 minus x. Now I can see x to power 4 is greater than or equal to 0. That is a positive number. And 2 minus x again it will be positive because x is slightly greater than 0. So 2 minus a number slightly greater than 0 will be positive. So this number will tend towards 0 positive. Now our limit, limit x is tending towards 0, f of 2 x is to power 4 minus x is to power 5 can be written as limit x is tending towards 0, f of 0 positive. Now from the graph we'll be calculating f of 0 positive. That means if I approach the function from right hand side of 0, f of x is going to attain a value that is equal to 2. Now I got the value separately I got the value of limits I can calculate the value of lambda now I'll calculate the value of lambda in the next slide now in the previous slide we have evaluated the limits separately and the limits were limit x is tending towards 0 f of x cube minus x square is equal to 3 and limit x is tending towards 0 f of 2 x is to power 4 minus x is to power 5 is equal to 2 now we're going to plug the values of limits and we'll calculate the value of lambda so we'll be having 2 into 3 is equal to lambda times now the value of lambda will be equal to from here 3 and that will be our final answer and that will be all.